Hello Year 4, welcome to your topic lesson for Monday the 22nd of February. Uh, today we are learning to emphasise with Boudicca and explain her rebellion. Could you please pause the video, write your date and your world and then underline it with a ruler. Yeah, I'd really like to see that date on Walt on all the work that gets sent through today, please. We're starting to get a couple come through without the dates and Walt's on. So keep up those standards, please. Okay, you've got a lovely picture here. Have a good look at that picture. I wonder who this lady could be. I've got this other picture to show you as well. This is a large statue and it's a statue in central London. Who do you think could be so important that they get to have a really large statue of themselves in central London? Must be someone really important to our country. Let's find out a bit more. Oh, there we are. Here's another clue. The statue is so important that it's directly opposite the Houses of Parliament. That's a really prominent special position in London, isn't it? Hmm. Well, hopefully the uh, Walt has given you a clue. That lady there on her chariot is called Boudicca eh? and she is um, known to be a really strong woman, a really prominent person in our British history. So let's find out a little bit more about her today. So the year is AD 60. The Romans have occupied Britain for 17 years. Many Celtic tribes, so the Celtic tribes are the ones that were in Britain before the Romans came, many Celtic tribes have managed to continue to live in much the same way they always did, making deals with the Romans to leave them in peace. However, a major rebellion is about to take place, which will affect the lives of many people, Celts and Romans alike. So something big is about to happen. This is a true story. This is Boudicca's story. My name is Queen Boudicca. I am ruler of the Iceni tribe and ruler territory that is called East Anglia. I am a rich and powerful Celtic queen and my husband is called King Thrasotagus. The Romans have lived in our lands for nearly 20 years. When the Romans first came to our lands, we made peace with them and were allowed to keep our homes. We do things differently now and have many Roman things, but I am a Celt and I still live like a Celt. I don't trust the Romans and feel that they take too much from us, but I don't want to make war as it will hurt my people who, want, who need my leadership. Things are not going well now. My husband has died and now the Romans are demanding my land for taxes. They are so greedy. I refused to hand my lands over and they tied me and my daughters to a pole and beat us. The beatings were a warning to me to do as I am told. I will not. I am a good queen and I will fight back. I am going to raise an army and we will march on the, onto the Roman city at Colchester. Now Colchester's on a map there, it's near London. There is still the city of Colchester nowadays. I will show the Romans that we will not tolerate this. We took Colchester easily. Other tribes have joined my army and we are marching on to London and St Albans. I now have a mighty army. I have ordered my army to kill every Roman they see. We are going to drive the Romans from our lands for good. So she's got really big plans, hasn't she? St Albans and London have been destroyed. My army burnt the cities down and we killed many Romans. I have a larger army and outnumber the Romans. So her army is bigger than the Roman army. I have sent for our families to come and watch us defeat these Romans and drive them from our lands. Disaster. My warriors have been beaten and I had to flee the battle. I had 10 times more warriors than the Romans, but they were better trained than we were. My warriors attacked the Roman lines, but made no real impact. The battle has been lost. The Romans will take my land and my people will be enslaved. They will be made into slaves. 
I shall be humiliated. I am a Celtic queen and cannot suffer the humiliation. I am going to take poison and the land of the Iceni now belongs to Rome. That's sad, isn't it? That's a true story. Now, I've given you on your um, daily plan a, a link to a BBC video to watch. I'd like you to watch that video. Ideally, you would watch it now. But if you'd like to, you can always watch it just before you start your independent work. OK, I can't put it in my video, otherwise it will YouTube will block my video, I'm afraid. So follow that link and watch that clip before you start your work. Why don't you just start thinking about how Boudicca feels now? Because our walk today is to emphasise with Boudicca, to be able to think about how she might feel. So we're going to use emojis. I'm going to get my pen ready. We're going to think about each point in the story and we are going to draw an emoji to show how she feels at that point. So in your book, underneath your date and wall, you need to write the numbers one to seven and just leave yourself space to draw an emoji. So, number one, Boudicca is a powerful Celtic queen and the ruler of the, the Iceni tribe. Ooh, I'm going to keep it simple and go with a smiley, a smiley face. You might think of a better one. She is happy. She is feeling strong. In fact, we could do that muscly arm, couldn't we? I'm not sure if I can draw that. A muscly arm to show that she is feeling strong. Okay, number two. The Romans arrive and peace is made between the Celts and the Romans. The Celts are allowed to keep their homes. Hmm, okay. This is going to be a kind of happy, not quite as happy as the, as the other one. So let's make this one really smiley, bring that smile up a bit more. So she's, she's still okay. On the next one, Boudicca's husband dies. The Romans demand land for taxes, I should say for taxes. Boudicca refuses and she and her daughters are tied to a pole and beaten. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? I'm going to draw the crying emoji here. I might also, if I was better at drawing, draw that one where the head is exploding off. You know the one I mean, where he's really cross and his head is exploding off. Not happy. Okay, I'm going to stop drawing now, but I want you to carry on. So, number four. Boudicca decides to raise an army to march on the Roman city of Colchester. So she's feeling determined. She's not going to let the Romans beat her. What emoji are you going to draw for that one, I wonder? Number five, Boudicca's army take Colchester easily. More people join her army and they march on to London and St Albans. They destroy both cities and kill many Romans. Fantastic. So they've the previous battle, they've won it really, really easily. They've taken the city of Colchester. They've got an even bigger army. They've destroyed two more cities. They've killed lots of Romans. How is she feeling now? Draw an emoji to show how she feels at that point. Don't forget, you can pause the video to give yourself time to draw in between each of my points. Number six, Boudicca's warriors are defeated and they have to flee battle. Her land will be taken and her people enslaved. She will be humiliated. Okay, so things have taken a turn for the worse. How is she feeling? This is pretty bad, isn't it? And number seven, she takes poison and her lands belong to the Romans now. Now that, that's pretty awful. So have a think about what emoji you're going to draw there. Okay. So hopefully you've had the chance then to emphasise with Boudicca, to think about how she felt throughout her story. Emmett's been having to think about Boudicca because I think we would all agree that she was a pretty strong woman. It's pretty unusual uh, for women at that point in history to make such an impact. So Emmett is trying to think of other strong women in history. His first idea was Joan of Arc. I don't know whether you might have heard of Joan of Arc, but again, she was a really strong, powerful woman in history. Can you help him think of any more? Oh, there's a challenge for you. How many strong women in history can you think of? 
Mm, have a think, pause the video. Right, here's just a few I came up with, definitely not a full list. So we've got the Virgin Mary, we've got Elizabeth I, Cleopatra and Elizabeth II, Mother Teresa and Mara Curie, Indira Gandhi and Rosa Parks, Margaret Thatcher and Emmeline Pankhurst, Queen Victoria and Florence Nightingale. Now I wouldn't expect you to know who all of those people are but you might know who a couple are and you might have come up with a couple of those names perhaps. I expect you probably came up with some different ones too and I wish I was at school and I could hear what you came up with. If you ever have a moment though and you want to research some of these people they are all really interesting people to find out about. They all made a really big impact on the world. Now Emmett's been thinking again and he thinks that Boudicca was a mad woman to attempt to fight against a famously strong Roman army. What do you think? Do you agree with Emmett? Would you like to build on what he says or would you like to challenge him? If you've got somebody with you, maybe you could have a little debate about that. Was she mad for trying to fight against the Romans? Pause the video, have a think. Okay, there's no right or wrong answer, is there? I think she definitely deserves some respect for what she did. I think that's why she's gone down in history for us. She really, really did try to make that impact. So your independent work. So next lesson, you are going to write about Boudicca's revolt. So to revolt, a revolt is where you, um, if you revolt, you, let me see, how should I put it? Um, I think the best way to think about it is if you revolt, you take action against something. So she, Boudicca's action against something, Boudicca's revolt. So today you're going to create a story map to help you with your writing next week. So let's see, what's our step to success for our story map? What do you reckon? I think we need to include all key points. Uh, only draw pictures of the key points. So we need all the key points, but that's all we need. You don't need to draw pictures of absolutely everything. Uh, the pictures need to jog your memory. It's got to be something that's useful for you when you come back to it next week and you try to do your writing. Uh, and you need to join your pictures with arrows. Okay. So if you have done a successful story map, you will be able to look at it and tell the whole story of Boudicca's revolt. Now, I have done uh, the start of a story map. So I have drawn a crown to show that Boudicca uh, was the queen of the Iceni tribe. I have drawn a Roman and I've written the word peace to show that when the Romans came, um, a peaceful agreement was made with them and the Iceni tribe were allowed to in fact, the whole of the Celts were allowed to keep their properties and they lived basically as they were used to living. Then I've drawn a coffin and I've drawn a sad person um, to show that her husband died. OK, I say I've drawn, I haven't drawn. I've actually taken these pictures off the Internet, but you get what I mean. So I've started it off. You need to do your own story map and continue just like mine. What I would do when I get to the end of my row, I'm going to do an arrow going down and I'm going to start going down in, um, I don't know whether you could see my cursor, hang on. Let's get my pen. What I would do when I get to the end of my row, I'll draw an arrow, I'll draw my next picture here. And then I'm going to start going down like that. And I will do my next picture here. And then I would draw an arrow and I will do my next picture here, draw an arrow next picture and then I'll start going down that way and then I'll go across okay hopefully that makes sense to you so that is your task today then pause the video draw yourself a story map uh, to show the story of Boudicca I have pasted that story into your daily plan for you
in case you'd like to go back and read that again. Okay, good luck. I hope you enjoy the chance to be a bit creative with your pictures today. Last thing I want you to do before you finish our lesson, I want you to think about three reasons why Boudicca rebelled. I want you to think about that over the next week so that you are ready in our next lesson um, to answer that question. What are the three reasons why Boudicca rebelled? So you might say, I think Boudicca rebelled for a number of different reasons. Firstly, get it really straight in your head to help you with your work next week. Well done today, year four. I look forward to seeing what you've done. Bye.